Welcome back, boys and girls. Let's go ahead and let's talk about page 12 of your fourth grade hybrid math workbook. So what you've been doing now is you've been drawing some bar models, and now we're going to go ahead and apply using bar models to these word problems, okay? And these are going to be multiplication, multiplicative comparison word problems. So let's go ahead and work on those numbers one and two together. Number one says, Justin is driving his motorcycle at 25 miles per hour. Dan is driving his car three times as fast as Justin. How fast is Dan driving? The key words here is as fast as, okay? We're doing a comparison. So how fast is Justin driving? That's the information we have. Well, Justin is driving 25 miles per hour, okay? How fast is Dan driving? Dan is driving his car three times as fast as Justin. So three times as fast would be one, would be two, and would be three right there. So he's driving three times as fast. So each one of these is going to be worth 25. Now how do I solve that? Well, I can add it if I want. We have two tens there and we have five ones there. So it's going to be two, four, six. We have six tens, that's 60. Plus five plus five, that's another 10. So 60, 70 plus one more, that's going to be, he's driving 75 miles per hour. Another, that, another way that we can do it too is we can go ahead and write an equation, okay? So Justin is driving his car at 25 miles per hour, and that is three times as fast as Justin. So we can write 25 times 3 equals what? Well, I can use the distributive property, okay? And let's use this. So here I've got, I've got two tens, okay, which is 20. And then here I've got plus 5, okay? That's 20 plus 5 times 3, okay? I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that a little bit differently. So I'm going to write 3 times 20 plus 5, okay? That's the same as... 3 times 20 equals 60, plus 3 times 5 equals 15, okay? And there I've got 60 plus 15, that is going to equal 75, okay? Now let's take a look at number 2. Number 2 says, Billy bought juice at the store. The cranberry juice cost $6, so cranberry juice cost $6, and that is 2 times as much as the orange juice. Again, we're comparing. How much does the orange juice cost? So this is multiplicative comparison. So here, I'm gonna, the information I have is I've got this bar graph here. The cranberry juice costs $6. Okay? And the cranberry juice is two times as much as the orange juice. So the orange juice is less. Two times as much. I'm gonna split that down the middle by two. Okay, so this is how I'm going to write the equation now. I'm going to write 2 times something equals 6. So, 2 times what equals 6? Okay, what's the unknown? That's going to be 3. Okay, so the orange juice is going to cost $3. Okay, that's how much the orange juice is going to cost. I'm just going to write orange juice is $3, okay? And let's just go ahead and check that, right? So 2 times 3 equals 6, or 3 times 2 equals 6. Wonderful, boys and girls. So what you're going to go ahead and do right now is you're going to go ahead and work on sets 1 and 2 of your 4th grade hybrid math workbook, and we'll see you at the next video.